I get this question a lot. What t-shirts are you always rocking for the winter time since it does get a little bit colder? These ones right here, they are about $14.90, but I'm telling you the material is nice and thick. And I'm feeling this one right here, just like the long sleeve crew necks, they actually improve the uh, quality of the material. It's a lot softer, basically more comfortable. The old ones from last year kind of like have this rougher texture, but these are pretty soft right here. So shout out to Uniqlo for uh, improving the uh, comfort. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I know it's a fall essentials video, but man, oh man, Johnny, I found your t-shirt right here. They are now making the orange construction colored thick t-shirts right here. He would rock this. I'm gonna get it for him. Yo, this is pretty lightweight. I feel like the one that Uniqlo offers, not bad. And you guys seen this before. Cozy vibes. If you look at it, put it on real quick. Okay. You know, we were talking about the turtleneck earlier. We don't do the turtlenecks, but in my opinion. That looks like stylish. the, uh, did you see when Supreme did the one with the, uh, the all red yeah. Supreme uh, logos all it over had, it? like the, uh, the same color, but all over like the red, yeah, yeah. And, uh, red and navy Supreme on it. I would say this one is a little bit too feminine color wise. For sure. The one on the uh, mannequin is pretty dope. It feels great. $29? $29 feels good. It's a deal. So the color I picked earlier wasn't as cool, but obviously they offer a nice darker gray. The one Richie mentioned earlier. But oh, Chan, you want to match with the shorts right here. <laughs> you got the short version. Yeah, 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 I'll go say that's like identical to my shorts right now. Rich, how do you feel about this color? Do you almost feel like a like a poodle? You trying to be Yogi the Bear over here? What you trying to do? Oh no, no, not Yogi the Bear. I'm talking about uh, Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> All right, guys, so a few years ago, I was big on the corduroy denim. A lot of people got at me, so I just stopped wearing them, but they are back, and I'm actually excited. I used to rock these with, like, some fours and everything. Honestly? I like that they're not, like, pitch black corduroy pants. I'm going to get these, and I'm going to see how they look with some sneakers, For man. sure, man. I've always appreciated the texture. It's more unique than just a plain this is, black. This is timeless right here. Yeah. This I'm, I'm going to get these, and let's see how these look. Check out this right here. This is a nice, oversized crew neck t-shirt. It's basically a lot wider, so it's going to give it more of, like, a drapey look but right. not too long so it's almost like a 4x vibe if you know what i mean they're over here selling those shirts for 14.9 you can get this look right here cheap alternative to uh fear of god uh six collection i'm gonna stop talking about fear of god Yo, Tan, what do you think about uh, Kappa? You like them? Um, I'm gonna say no. No? I just feel like the logo is not really swaggy. I don't like it. I thought it was two girls, but I guess it's a girl and a guy, right? <laughs> oh, you wanted two girls. Oh, that's why you don't like it. What are these right here? It kind of got the John Geiger vibes. You know the John Geiger shoes? Yeah, yeah. Cool print right here or no? This is a very poor job of a real tree. That looks like a video game. It doesn't look real at all, so I'm gonna say it's not real tree. So right now we're in Paxum, but it looks like they haven't uh, quite switched their clothing all the way to the fall gear, so we'll uh, tune back in next time. So right now we're in uh, Abercrombie. Let's see what they got going on here. This is kind of cool. Kind of has this like splatter vibe. Yo, these are pretty cool right here. Kind of has that like marbled t-shirt prints on it. Kind of like what John Elliott was doing. Price wise, we are looking at 34 bucks. It's not bad. Like everyone's trying to hop on the box logo wave for the fall time. We all know when box logos come out for the fall. It's like Abercrombie's trying to hop on that same wave. All right, man, my man's just go to the Body Jewelry Plus, probably to get his belly button pierced. What? Who knows? But nah, I'm just kidding. He actually comes here to grab his earrings over here because they shine the most. Don't sleep on JCPenney, all right? We're going to show you some cool deals. I haven't been here in a while, but I heard the Levi section is pretty on point. So these right here, kind of like that 100% uh, cotton vintage wash right here. You know, the Saved by the Bell vibes. But they have them at uh, JCPenney's. And these are uh, 69 bucks, so a little pricey. Let me see if they're on sale. Buy one, get one 40% uh, off. That's not bad. I would say for 100% cotton, though, they're not that thick. But they do have that look, that real nice um, older look. We mentioned earlier that JCPenney has a huge selection of Levi jeans and items. I think they might carry the most Levi items in the mall. I mean, right off the bat, obviously, you got the 510 skinnies. I used to rock these all the time. They were the perfect fit without having to get anything tapered. For a skinny guy like me, I feel like the 510 is the perfect model to where you don't have to do any tapering. You got some nice washes, some nice gray wash. If you are looking for some Levi's denim, I gotta say, JCPenney's, the abundance yeah. of inventory is crazy. I was like, just saying, this, anything this might, for everybody. Yeah, this might be the biggest selection in the mall. This is like a Levi's store in JCPenney, so don't sleep on JCPenney's for Levi's. Yo, big day of uh, House of Hype 
today. Whoa, we got the heat on today. That's not the one uh, from Shanghai, is it? Come on. You guys don't see this. They look good. Come on, man. I rock those. <laughs> so I just got to the office. I was looking at our uh, fan mail. Someone said a photo of this Frenchie right here. And I was like, yo, Gabe, are you getting a new dog? But then I looked in the back. This is actually from Shaz, a fan. He was saying, yo, I'm a big fan of your channel. And as a dog owner, I'm also a huge fan of Sky Pilot. Here's my dog, Benji. I think they'd be homies. I think they would be too. Shout out to Shaz from United Kingdom. I don't think you guys really know, but we do have a uh, fan mailbox. If you guys want to send any fan mail. Yo, Tan, what kind of fan mail would you want, man? Man, y'all just think we get some, some old flannels that you guys, you know. Oh, some bitches or, stuff. You know, I'll wear it proudly. Yo, Ralph, what kind of uh, fan mail you want, man? Um, maybe a new camera or something. Right. New, ca new camera? camera. <laughs> <laughs> no one sent you a new damn camera. <laughs> Got some samples right here. And a couple videos and one of the vlogs. You guys asked what flannel was I wearing. It's actually originally collected. <laughs> This right here is a game changer. I feel like the hood gives it more like that casual vibe. You know, you can rock it with sneakers. A little hidden pocket. <laughs> Improved Yo, the print is crazy. Quality oh, is insane. Look at the lining. I wasn't expecting a little Richie Lee collection uh, preview. That's, over. It, That's, That's it. it. That's it. What are you doing in there, bro? This is the part of showbiz they don't tell you about. You know, I, I got a crazy <laughs> pimple on my forehead. You got to do a little <laughs> cover up sometimes, you know, just so it doesn't show up on camera as noticeable. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna like fully cover it. I don't even know how to properly do this. I know you're supposed to do like a more of like a brush. I just put it on my finger. I don't even know if I got the right shade. YouTube hat. Everybody has this bot on YouTube, but no one's real enough to tell you about it. Oh man, what has this guy got on over over here? A special kind of day, you know. Flex real hard, heavy on him. With the 3M bake too on him, man. Yeah. Okay. So it matches the little oh, accents of 3M that the fear of gods have. Oh, let the people know what you're wearing today, man. So we got, I just got these in the mail yesterday. What's weird to say is my last three cops have all been Nikes. And I'm, usually, I'm usually an oh. Adidas guy. But I have a question. How do you wash that? Because I have I a 3M jacket. I've never washed it. It's only my second time wearing it. I haven't washed one in like five years. No, it says no dry cleaning. Look, man, I barely wash my clothes. <laughs> what? I dry clean them, no, if anything. As long as there's no stains, it's still gross, fresh to me. Bro, what are you talking about, man? So Lena's over here complimenting Tan's I hair. Think it looks great. Maybe a little better than last time, just you a little know, bit. I'm, I'm more mad because they, no one told me. <laughs> How come I gonna tell myself? You're so confident sometimes. You so, I didn't want to like. We oh, thought side. it was the move. Yeah. He had like on the back of his head had like a little you know what it is degree angle like there's wow. no curvature there's like no curvature at all too. you know what it was how are we supposed to not know it's the move you know what it is <laughs> my barber put me on this thing called powder play it's for volume it literally gives you a poof yo what up David and Andrew are here they're actually gonna be on House of Hype so I'm excited welcome yeah. to the uh, office. All right, guys, so I'm watching this uh, teaching men's fashion day in the life video. It's making me sick. I'm over here eating french fries, Chick-fil-A, ranch, and he's over here waking up at 5 a.m. doing ab workouts. The thing that struck us the most was he just started off the video saying, the one thing he just lives by is eating clean. <laughs> the last sandwich I'm gonna have for Look the week. Here. After Labor Day weekend, clean eating. Anytime you guys see us eating in the vlogs, it's gonna be salads. Only salads. You call us out if you see anything other than a salad. If it even touched some oil, I don't even want to see it. Not only just salads, just healthy food. No, I'm only eating salads. No, I'm only eating salads. This is the start of a new channel. Teaching men's fashion, he got Lambos. I want a Lambo. You see this lettuce? I might just take the lettuce out and only eat this for the rest of the meal. For now, this Chick-fil-A sandwich, man. Pretty good. I know everyone's comparing this to Popeyes, and I haven't had Popeyes yet. Sold out till mid-September, I heard. But my gosh, this, this Chick-fil-A sandwich is pretty damn juicy. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the sandwich, but wait till Monday. We gonna <laughs> watch out. That's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got these uh, PG3s in the mail. One thing I like to do before I start playing in a fresh pair of basketball sneakers is actually bend the toe box like this to kind of get that like... Kind of like a brand new baseball mitt. You want to rough it up. Yeah, you want to rough it up. You kind of want to like... I feel like big dudes, they could wear their shoes like fresh out the box and then break them in the first game. For me, I like it kind of like that worn in look. So, I mean not the look, but the feel. So, like bending it like this. Just a pro tip for you guys. We're not the guy, all right? I've been eating so naughty lately. I just want to slap myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
tomorrow. <laughs> Just like we said when we were watching Chi Chi's Men's Fashion. Guy are gonna start so soon where you're not even gonna be ready when it starts. But as of right now, we got business to handle. Oh my god, I've never seen anybody get a pizza pretzel with pepperoni. Get a little B roll action of a nice bite. Look at that. Look at that, all right? Love it. Good. Dig in. Good. How about let me get the camera? Nice dip. What do you think? Mm. That hot sauce and cheese. Yeah. I told you, man. That looks incredible. The fact that they have the nasty throw in chocolate covered strawberries. I love this for that, man. Look at that hollow little melon in your mouth. Not why I'm This is uh, what real friends do. You know, they share one dessert while everybody walks past us and uh, judges us. But it's all good. All right, so I just got my teeth cleaned. I'm super hungry, so I'm actually gonna be headed out and trying that new Popeye sandwich. Hopefully we can find a Popeye's around here. Um, I've seen some crazy memes and posts on IG about that sandwich, man. People paying resale. So I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. Let's go find the sandwich. All right, so just found one uh, about a mile away. Let's get it. Starting route to 14803 Pacific Avenue South. Hello, welcome to the sandwich. Popeye's, what can I get started for you today? Okay, we'll do a uh, number four, a spicy. Mashed potatoes, icy. Do you guys have uh, like any desserts? Peanut butter, banana pie? Can we also add uh, macaroni and cheese? So unfortunately, they are sold out in the chicken sandwich. So this is what we ended up getting, man. I feel like they're just trying to build up the hype for this sandwich or something, man. I bet you they're still making a killing off the people like me who came for the sandwich but ended up getting some chicken. Yo, what's good with this sandwich? Is it harder to find than some like off-whites or some Supreme? So we got the uh, Fear of God Essentials hat in the mail right here. I'm not gonna lie, the details are pretty nice. Right here, it kind of has this like warning look as if you like sweated in it all game. You see the yellowness right here, but it is a kind of cool touch. So what I like to do, we call this, you know, just with like sneaker laces and everything, you gotta sauce it a little bit, you know, you gotta bend the brim a little bit on these fitted hats. So like that, and then you do the middle, but you gotta do the sides as well. Bend that part, bend that part right there to give it a little more like, you know, character. You don't want it fresh out the uh, store. This isn't 2002 where you want the uh, sticker on it, you want the uh, flat brim. You want a little sauce to it, so you just wanna bend the brim like this, and then bam, and sometimes people walk like, like that, you know, you might do it in the, you know, in the front like that. I'm really feeling the uh, gray underbrim. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very uncomfortable uh, position. But here's the hat right here. You know, not much else to really say about it. I've recommended it in the uh, Not a Podcast before. Had to get one myself, and it's looking mighty clean, y'all. Peace. Mm -hmm.